Okay, well we left off uh, on this last part of the build. <clears throat> we showed how the rake's gonna go. So today I'm gonna attempt to, I know a lot of people put, or most airboats have T-bar that runs down inside there in the hull, but I'm gonna use one by two rectangle tubing. <clears throat> I have a couple of, I have a couple of ways I'm going to try to bend this. I have this JD square bender, but I don't have a square tubing die, but a buddy of mine does have one where I can order one. I think they're like 200 something dollars from JD square, but I also have pipe rollers for this Harbor Freight roller. And these are swag off road, uh, plastic rollers for aluminum for pipe. But I'm going to try that. Cause I don't have to get a, a like a complete circle. I just got to get this this radius here. So let's see how this is going to work out. I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, this is working. But man, I need to get uh, Swag makes a an adapter that you put on here, and then you put a power pony for a, a threader because. I'm sweating my butt off. This thing's wearing me out. But uh, I'll leave it on for a little bit and let y'all let y'all watch. Let me show you this real quick. Right here is the 12 foot mark. So I'm bending it, rolling it a little bit past that. And then I might need to go a little bit more because it looks like my bend's right here instead of at my 12. But then I'm only going to the tip of the boat right there. So I might need to go a little further back. And the boy just showed up, my son, so he can get his ass on there. Lord, it's wearing me out. What 
Okay, I don't want to hear nothing. If I'm breathing hard, it's because I'm wore out. I'm an old man. But look at that. That's working pretty damn good. If we had that uh, power pony, which I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight and pick that up, and then I might be able to weld something on here instead of waiting and order that from Swag. But it's coming out pretty good. Coming out real good. Real good. Real, real good. Yeah, there's pot liquor. <laughs> okay. All right, let me go. I'm gonna take it out and set it in the boat and see what it looks like. I'll get back with you. Okay. That's not too bad. So now we only got to do five or six of these. So not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> Where we left off last night, we bent this one, one by two rectangle tubing. We bent it by hand right here with this Harbor Freight uh, tube roller. <clears throat> These are swag off-road uh, inserts. They're made for aluminum, they're made for pipe. They actually make them for square tubing, but I, I pretty much wouldn't mind doing this rectangle tubing with them, but, it, but it's working. But I said last night I was gonna leave and get me a, go to Harbor Freight and get me a, a power head for thread and pipe. I got all the way there last night, forgot my wallet at home. So I came back home and I went to work today and my, well, our vice president of the company had this one. And uh, he said he bought it off one of our operators that needed, uh, needed some money. So he paid him a hundred bucks for this rigid one. So I was like, well, shit. And he goes, well, you can use it. And I said, no, nah, I'll just go buy my own. He goes, well, man, just give me a hundred dollars and, and you can have it. And I was like, man, what a deal. That's like a $1,400 power head. And then another friend of mine has, he had this square um, bit that goes in it for the head, you know. So what I did at work today is I found a swedge, a reducer, a heavy wall reducer that actually fit in there tight. It fit pretty snug. So I drove it down in there and made marks. You can see the marks right there where I drove it down in there. So then I took a grinder, grinded it flat on two sides, and then the set screws will go in it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is take the wheel off and then I'm gonna stick this over it and I'm just gonna weld it straight to the shaft. And then that way I can do that instead of, uh, instead of having to do this by hand. So let's get that swapped out.
Okay, <clears throat> that's it. I guess I could have cut this off and made it shorter. But this part here, I, I borrowed from a buddy of mine at work. So when I get my own, I'm actually going to probably weld it around that. Probably grind that off and go ahead and shorten it up some so it's not sticking out so far. But then I'm going to weld it around this right here. So I ain't got to worry about it ever coming off. So... <clears throat> So pretty cool. There you have it. All right, well, I'm gonna wait till the boy gets home. When my son gets home, we're gonna try to bend the rest of these, uh, the rest of these runners for the bottom of the boat. So we'll see how it goes. Get back with you. <clears throat> okay, the boy's home, time to get a little help. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do, <clears throat> here's your 12 foot mark. So you're always gonna go a little bit past it. And then you can see right underneath there is the other mark. Uh -huh. So we, we want to stop a little bit past it. So you grab that. So, whoa, other way, other way. So a little bit past this. All right, slow down. Let off. A little more. Right there. That's good. We don't want to get a bend too much past our. Our 12 foot. I need to put this somewhere.
All right, we got them all bent. That's all the runners on it. I tell you what, it sure was nice using that power pack. We did all the rest of those with this right here in a matter of what an hour yeah if that and i mean that's so that's that's all it is next step the next thing we're going to do which i actually i rent these these wheels like i said they were made for pipe so i'm gonna have to order new ones and then i'm going to order a set that's actually made for one inch square tubing so hopefully we don't have that problem again and i need to cut this off and move it in so it's not so far out there you know this harbor freight roller the machining on it is not super accurate you know so it's got a lot of slop in it but i mean it gets the job done it put a few rolls in some of the some of the uh, rectangle tubing you know so we had to do a few rolls of it you know straighten out the rolls but you can see it kind of veers up a little bit but when we make our jig to press oh, to press this Clamp. We're going to make a clamp to clamp all these together and what we'll do is we'll put wood that will get it spaced out right and get the right piece size of wood put in there and then we're going to make a clamp that goes underneath the boat on top of the boat with all threads on each side and it'll crush it all down and that way we can drive wedges if we need to and then we can use a clamp to clamp it together this way and they'll be evenly spaced all the way down. So clamp, clamp, tack. Move on, clamp, tack, move on. Right. We're gonna work from this, this, this end side, over. Yep. So, all right, we'll get back with you. I, we gotta make that clamp first before we tack all this down. So hopefully I can get them, so we'll make it out of a 3 16ths by probably three by three T-bar. So I have to get small that from thread. the steel supply and then uh, small and some all thread and, and make that this weekend or before this weekend if I can get by there after work and then uh, that way we'll be ready to tack this all up on this weekend. All right, talk to y'all later.